Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Sphinx's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Mike Tyson's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walls. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Introducing first, in the blue corner, from St. Louis, Jenks Spinks! And his opponent across the way, by way of the blue, Iron Mark Tyson! All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Let's go out there now, come on now, let me see. Solid hook upstairs. Good job, good job. Do you think this is the kind of matchup where we're going to see a lot of movement? Yeah, I think so, especially if the faster fighter gets his way. He knows he's fighting a guy that hasn't gone rounds too often. He's going to want him to walk. He's going to want to make sure he burns up. Mike Tyson's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? A freight train uppercut by Spinks. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Spinks is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Flush right hand to the head. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. A flush hook scores well for him. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Let's see some more head movement, Jack. And they come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. And boy, oh boy, are they putting on a show tonight here. Well, kind of what you expected. These styles kind of told you that this is what you were going to get. Watch you take those shots, you understand? Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight, you know? Then let's get moving out here. Here we go. Round two is underway. Mike Tyson's ready to go. He looks like he's in good shape for this round. Good looking jab there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Solid right by Mike Tyson. Pulls 
the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. It's all right, keep moving, keep moving. Comes with the right. Able to show you his blocking ability. Able to get away from that headshot with a block. Halfway through round number two. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Very nice work with the double jab up top. That right hand over the top lands flush. And Tyson with a block punch. Hits him in the mug with the right. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Hands up, hands up. Accurate hook by Mike Tyson. Spinks is feeling the impact of that hook to the body. Tyson showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart, accurate punching. And talking about IQs, it's being led by that left jab, an educated left jab, a jab that talks a little bit, talks a couple languages. I mean, he's hooking off it, he's uppercutting off it, he's doubling up on it. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Fight real close. Can you go? We don't want this to go. Round number three is underway. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Spinks. Spinks is using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use it, to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Spinks. And now he's targeting upstairs. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Well up top. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Tyson showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. man able to land an uppercut. Tyson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Wow, is he defensively sound. Spinks' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Keep doing what you do. Keep that jab pumping. Then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double You're letting this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. All right, let's go. Listen, I need to see some counter punches. I head on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think 
that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Little head hunting with the left. There's that overhand right. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Binks is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A very crisp combination by Mike Tyson. but he sends it right back. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Mike Tyson lands the hook flush. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Not able to land the headshot. And that's the end of round four. Spinks' cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. That hook was well off the mark. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Spinks' strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his feet. Wow! He got demolished like that was a wrecking ball. One punch power ends the evening. You gotta love that. Not long ago, when we put up your scorecard on the screen, I noticed somebody from his corner looking up at the big Jumbotron here in the arena. They knew he was losing this fight. Yeah, but that smart use of information. They got it to him, they let him know, and they got the results they wanted, they needed. The result, a knockout victory. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.